Head out three. We're ready for me to have more coffee. It's a lip swatch video. <sighs> Hi, <laughs> I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. Today, I have a really fun video for you. It's a lip swatch video. I love curating lip videos. <laughs> so today is all about that summery kind of popsicle jelly type lip. And I have chosen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of my favorites, all in a different shade range. Yes, we are reaching out away. Oh, yep, there's that dry skin. Can't I ever just not? Anyway, we're reaching out of our comfort zone of the nudes. I love nude lipsticks. I love a good glam nude lip all day, every day. But when I do wanna reach out of my comfort zone, there is nothing like a jelly popsicle lip to me anyway. So let's get started. The very first one, and by the way, these do not require lip liners, but if you feel like grabbing a lip liner to define your lips a little more, feel free. The first one is the Milk Electric Glossy Lip Plumper in Buzzed. Is this one of those that you could... No, it's just a lip plumper. Okay, <laughs> I was like, is this a lip and cheek? Just curious, because a lot of Milk Makeup's uh, products are, you know, multi-use. So this is the most calm neutral out of all of them, but because it is so high shine, it gives you that jelly-like effect. And this is the most nude shade out of all of them. And there is something about this that just feels like you took your lips to the spa. I love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. It doesn't sting my lips. It's more minty cooling than anything. But the shade Buzzed is that perfect. Like I want something there that looks a little popsicle-y. Like it's like a nice kind of muted tangerine layer. And then it looks like there's some depth there. That's what really gives it that like kind of popsicle-y look. It's not sticky. It's very moisturizing. I love the Milk Makeup Electric Glossy Lip Plumper in Buzzed for just a very muted, nice popsicle jelly lip. I almost hate wiping it off, to be honest. I love the smell of it. Mm -mm -mm. The next one is new to me. It's relatively new. I think it's the most sheer out of everything, but it gives you such a beautiful pop of orange. It is the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver, Reviver with Cherry Oil in the shade 004 Coral. I included this in my Dior Summer Collection video. This is a permanent shade, but it was kind of re-promoted in the Dior Summer Collection. So if you'd like to see me create an entire makeup look using the Dior Summer Collection, I will link that below. But the shade Coral is so pretty. It gives you just a pop of orange and there is some shimmer in there and it is so comforting to the lips and moisturizing. But if you're not even wearing makeup, this is muted enough to be a little bold, but not, you know, a, a shade that's gonna make your lips look like, ooh, you should probably wear some makeup with that, you know what I mean? But the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver with Cherry Oil in the shade 004 Coral has been a really quick and easy go-to for me to throw in my bag to give me a little something other than a nude lip. Or another way I love using this is if I've worn another lip shade and I've gone to lunch, gone to dinner, wiped my lips off, then I will apply the lip glow oil and coral right over just like my stained lips and it looks so nice over whatever pigmentation is left and it gives me that oomph of a little bit of orange there. Did Helen walk out today? Say Mr. Tick. Sexy Dexy, you wanna say hi? Somebody tiptoed on in here. Say hi Mr. Tex. Don't lick my, no. So Tex loves skincare, like he likes to eat it off of my face. And if I've just applied like a face mask or a lip oil or yeah, mm -hmm, or my skincare for the night and I like pick him up, he will try his hardest to lick every single bit of it off. So I'll hold you in a distance, but I love you so much. But you love skincare more than you love your mom. Okay, tiptoe on out of here. Mm -mm -mm. Next is a lip gloss, which is a tr traditional lip gloss from Tap. 
From Patrick Ta Beauty, this is the Major Glow Lip Shine, but this is in the shade Is She Younger Than Me? And this is the most like vibrant duochrome, like lots of depth lip shine that's out there from Patrick Ta Beauty. Is that what I'm trying to say? Anyway, there's lots of shimmer in it. It's got like almost like a neon type. I hope you guys can see that. It's like a neon type pink shift with orange and gold shimmers. And so this gives you not only like a popsicle lip effect, but it gives like, look at that, oh my God. It gives you that duochrome look from the insane pink and gold shimmers. Like, you know, when you see advertisements for like glittery lip glosses and you're like, oh my God, that looks crazy. And then you get it and you're like, I can't even see the glitter in that. This is, this looks like one of those like glittery lip gloss ads you see on Instagram and you're like, I'm gonna try that and you just can't see the glitter. This, I feel like it, you can see the glitter. It looks like one of those ads that actually translates in real life. So you have the high gloss, it's not sticky. It gives you a lot of depth with those different shimmers. And it's just a different type of like, you know, popsicle jelly type lip look, but it's so pretty with all kinds of eye looks and things like that, but beautiful for warmer weather for that look. I just like any type of glitter, I will just like stare at in the mirror. It's not even like looking at myself. I just love to look at glitter shine. So that's why we have a winged liner with Lemonhead LA Space Paste and Groupie. And that's it. There's no liner, honey. This is just glitter. I love it. Anyway, but seriously, back to Patrick Chaw's Major Glow Lip Shine in Is She Younger Than Me? It's stunning. It's stunning. Okay, next is just like, wow. When you think of Popsicle Lips, you think of this product. It's Tower 28's Shine On Lip Jelly in XOXO. Look at that. You can see right through it. It gives like a, like almost, it looks like a shut off like neon sign. Like you can see like the liquid in there. And then when you apply it, it's like this neon sign turns on. Watch, look at that. I love all of these lip glosses and lip products because there's so much depth there. And that's what gives you that like melted popsicle jelly effect is the depth of these lip glosses. And the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jellies, ooh, they are like drinking 60 ounces of water for your lips. They are so hydrating. They are so hydrating feeling. They just kind of, they feel more like a lip oil than anything, but it's like, oh, why isn't that getting all over my face? Because it feels so moisturizing, but they stay put. They're so, so freaking shiny. The Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in just like the clear, I forget what it's called. The, just the clear is my favorite clear lip gloss of all time of all time. So then add a little pigment in there and it, it's this. So this is the Tower 28 Lip Jelly Shine On Lip Jelly in XOXO. If you're looking for that perfect like reddish pink pop, popsicle jelly type lip for summer and there's no shimmer in this, you might see some like residual shimmers from me wiping off the Patrick Ta Major Glow Is She Younger Than Me lip gloss, but there is no shimmer in this. This is just a beautiful, pure, glossy gloss gloss. All right, the next one, if you guys have watched me or followed me on Instagram for any amount of time, you know I love In Beauty's lip glazes. I fell for an Instagram ad a couple years ago, bought the lip glaze, and ever since, it is just they've just been ab an absolute favorite for me for days where I don't wear makeup, days I do wear makeup, and looks like this. So the one that I chose out of all the ones that I own is the, sh is the lip glaze in number two. I believe it's, yeah, berry jam. So imagine just like putting like a really tasty berry jam on your lips. That's what this looks like. It's a little bit deeper than the Tower 28 Shine On, no, yeah, right? Shine On Lip Jelly in XOXO. So if you're looking for even more of like a deeper berry instead of like a pinky berry, this would be your gal. And it literally looks like you've just eaten a popsicle. This again has no shimmer and it smells so good. It doesn't leave you with a weird aftertaste. The In Beauty lip glazes are so moisturizing. They are like just the perfect blend of a lip gloss, a lip treatment, and just a really wonderful, like, what's that called? Like your senses experience? Like it, they taste good, they smell good, they look good. They're just absolutely incredible. So yes, this is In Beauty's lip oil 
lip glaze number two in berry jam i don't know if my discount code still works but if it does i will put that in the info box below as well on the in beauty website but you can also get these at sephora which i will have both links for you in the info below so you can have a choice of where you would like to purchase these babies but also another favorite is the mystery one it leaves you with like a the perfect pink lip and then i absolutely love the new it's like newer merlot but berry jam is just really really the perfect popsicle lip look okay now we're getting into some deeper shades okay the next one is the merit shade slick jelly tinted lip oil this is a newer shade i believe in mapleton look at her it's like popsicle lips grew up and graduated from yale okay that's what i think of this shade so it's like uh a little bit more red-ish brown than the rest of these now the merit shade slicks lip oils are a little less pigmented than the other ones we've done but if you're looking for just a really nice muted deep kind of wine stained lip look mapleton is your gal so imagine like you just ate a wine popsicle like a merlot popsicle that is what the merit shade slick tinted lip oil in mapleton looks like to me anyway pop on like a deeper lip liner and then you have a much more like refined look but as you can see, all of these are so shiny and have so much depth that you almost don't even need a lip liner to look complete. Anyway, this is Merit Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Mapleton. And yes, I believe it is a newer shade. I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Now for the most pigmented of all of these, this is the M Cosmetics Everglass Lip Dew in Temptress. It's deep. It's like a deep berry brown. So if you're looking for something with high shine that gives you that kind of like jelly popsicle lip look, you want a little more pigmentation, here you go. The M Cosmetics Everglass Lip Dew in Temptress. Another thing I love about the, I keep forgetting the Everglass Lip Dew, I just wanna call it a lip dew, is the applicator. It is shaped so well, so you can get a lot of precision. And I know right now, the lip liner I love to wear with this, if you want to wear a lip liner, is M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in kitten it is such a beautiful duo anyway this is the m cosmetics <laughs> everglass lip dew and temptress it's like if you added a little more pigmentation to the merit shade slick tinted lip oil and mapleton that's what this looks like but it's so pretty it's like you just had a glass of wine it ended up staining your lips and then you put some lip balm on and you're ready to go okay I saved this shade, even though it's like the brightest, most vibrant out of all of these. These stain the lips the most, so I, did, I wanted to do this one last. This is the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in Joy. These are so unique, so cool to me. They go on and they're very like cooling and soothing and they're sheer, but they stain the lips like no other lip product I own. But look at Joy. You would not think that a shade this vibrant would stain the lips, but it does. And it's not as glossy as the rest of these, but the way it stains the lips, it almost gives it the dimension it needs to still be like a popsicle jelly type lip. All right, this is the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in Joy. I mean, talk about summery, fun, popsicle-y, jelly type, you know, sheer, lots of dimension there, lots of depth depth there. And once it wears down, girl, you got the best, most long lasting lip stain of your life. If you haven't tried these yet, I highly recommend them, especially for summer. They are so just easy to use and they last and they look great with a full face of makeup. And they also look great with just like, you know, some mascara and because they last so long and they wear down to the most beautiful stain ever. It's just like such a good summery look. Yeah, so, so pretty. So those are all of my choices for the best summer lips of life. I am just really loving like the popsicle jelly, you know, like sheer type lip look right now for summer so let us know in the comments if you have some favorites i would love to know this is definitely new ter territory for me to wear all of the time so i would love to know those type of lip products that you love and what shades you love and keep those comments shoppable i love shopping your comments and please give this video a like if you enjoyed this video it lets youtube know you enjoy my content so you actually see it pop up in your feed and subscribe if you haven't already we would love to have you this beautiful positive 
happy, like well-adjusted community we have created here. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and happy summer time almost and happy warm weather and just enjoying the sun. Look how, like what? Look at the yellow. I didn't even mean to do this. Yellow nails, yellow hair clip, orange and orange. Like we look, this is summertime, honey. Okay, I'm gonna go have a little more coffee. We're ready for me to have more coffee. All right.